after this time of turmoil, it's now time to set our sights forward and step into the new era. Having my eyes open as if waking from a dream Recognising opportunities were not what they had seen Carrying the scars and consequences of the fall Deceptions now have disappeared It's time to stand tall Now I'm rising I know that I was not where I belong Now I'm rising No longer on my own I stand strong We all have things we are believing for it's time to see the problems turn around and the dreams come to pass. It may seem like we have missed our chance, like all the disruptions have set us too far off course from our destination. Now, I don't know why, but it seems that many times God delays things on purpose. He waits until the obstacle is so big it seems absolutely impossible for it to come to pass. No one was man who believed and trusted God. There was no sign of rain, but God said he'd send a flood. Took a hundred years to build the ark. He was the only ape when I was done. Spare a thought for Lazarus. Martha, his sister, called for Jesus when he was sick, and he did not come at her command. He waited until Lazarus had been in the tomb for four days before he turned up. Martha greeted him with the words, If you had been here, my brother would not have died. She experienced the devastation of delay right there. Sometimes we feel like that. God. You could have kept my dream alive. You could have turned up earlier. Why can't I succeed in this venture? Why isn't it progressing quicker? It's very easy. Times the road is rough. It isn't very easy. The going can get tough. But you can change your destiny. It isn't very Sometimes God waits until the obstacle in front of us is so big that when it does turn around, there is no question that it was God. He can make a way when there is no way. Martha was faced with a challenge. She was asked to roll away the stone with everyone watching against everything she knew, everything she felt, she still had to take a step of faith. She had to give the order to roll away the stone. This was a huge personal risk, an impossible situation that needed absolute trust in God alone. God called Lazarus forth and he came forth. He stepped out of the tomb. Are we willing in the face of what seems like an impossible situation, maybe the death of a dream, to trust again. Don't be discouraged when it seems too late. God's delay is not always denial. You may not see how things could ever change, but God can still do something that will cause Him to be glorified. Circumstances may seem impossible to turn around, but with God, all things are possible. God 
doesn't do anything on a normal schedule or a normal time frame. He is certainly not limited by the economy. He is not restricted by our age. <laughs> there is nothing impossible for our God. What he started in our life, he can finish. It is vital for us in the midst of the waiting to stay positive. We are surrounded by the negative pull of the world and we must make a deliberate effort to stand strong. Don't slip into the quicksand of negativity. We must continue to persevere. Do not let what is going on around us to affect our heart. Remember, no weapon formed against you will prosper and every tongue that rises up against you in judgment, you shall condemn. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. We are exposed to doubt. We are exposed to unbelief, but we must be determined to keep our trust in God. Be determined to stay positive. He has our life in His hands and He is trustworthy. Thank you, Lord, for lifting up the blindfold from my eyes, revealing truth inside my heart, dispelling all the lies. Thank you, Lord, for coming out.